Hi everyone. Right, what I'm going to do, so I've got some of my all-time favourite Dreamweaver's stencil crackle paste. Absolutely love this stuff. And I'm not sure what... I'm just putting it on. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might have too much on, actually. Um, I do want a really good textured background. And if that means lobbing it on... And that's what we'll have to do. So we'll just put that on like that. So it's pretty thick, this one. That, this layer that I've put on, that's what I'm saying. So I'm going to have to get some more of that, methinks. Um, I'm just going to do a, a little plaque. Now, don't ask me what I'm going to do with it. I don't know. <laughs> um, but what I'm going to do with it first, after I've uh, done that, is dry this off and crack a look at the state of my gun. I need a new one. I need to clean this one, actually. But because I put it nice and thick, it should come, you know, really stand out the crackle on it. Uh, in my tub. What have I done with it? Here we go. And we're going to start and put some colour on it. Now I'm using this one, Ancient Copper, which is that beautiful colour. I'm going to use, um, let me see, I do have some just water colours. Um, here's one. That one is, I've got the Meadow Lush, which is gorgeous. And the blue lime. So we'll just see what we're going to get with these. Right, I'm hoping these will work. They haven't been used for a while. Sit down, boy. Sit down. So I'm hoping they're not too clogged. <sighs> clogged, see? It's awful when they're clogged. I'm just going to cut mine a little bit and see what happens. Boys, come and sit down. Get off. We've got the hairdresser in. Ray's having his hair done. And they can't go out. <laughs> they don't like it. Let's just have a look. Oh! Please work. See? Right, so we've got that. These shouldn't clog because there's no... Uh, what's it with them? No mica in them. This is a brand new one so it shouldn't clog. Beautiful colours. And then I'm going to put this lush green one on. Another one that's clogged. Crazy. Right, but what I'm going to do is, there's just where there's no crackle here, I'm just going to take that bit off. Like that. And that's it. I, I'm not going to do any more to that one. So now what I'm going to do is just dry that off.
that's that. Anyway, as you can see, um, I don't know if you can see the blue hue in this. I'll try and get it. Look, see, touch the blue, greens, and the gold. Well, it's uh, what did I say it was? It was the ancient copper. Sorry, absolutely stunning. So now what I'm going to do is put that into a make a project with that. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, what I might do is. Oh, now what about the rulers I did yesterday? Do you remember the rulers I made yesterday? Oh yeah, that'll do, look. So I might just add a ruler on there. Let me just see. Take this little clip out. I see, I don't want to hide. I like... I do like that. And I don't want to... There with that I think like that I want a darker one maybe nope that's all right so what I now need to do is to oops I'm just darken the edges on this Just to age it a little bit more, that's all. Like that. Now, I had somewhere some uh, sewing things, didn't I? I need to find them. So I want that on there. Somewhere I've got some sewing bits and pieces. Ooh. Actually, I like that heart better. Remember that what I did, I showed you how to do that kind of uh, texture. I don't really want to use things, um, you know, create more new things when I have things. Now I did have... Sorry, but I just have to uh, have a look through. I've got such a lot of things that I could use. See, I've got that sewing machine. Oh, I like that actually. See the sewing machine? Which I could pop on like that. Just trying to find bits that are to do with sewing and the like. I did have some little bobbins somewhere. No, I'm not sure if I've still got them. Let me have a look. I need to organise my draw things, I really do. So I've got bits of this and bits of that, it's everywhere. Oh bum. <laughs> it was. Right, I think what I'll do is I'll just... Oh, I could use a, a bottle, couldn't I? I'll put a bottle in. There's a nice little bottle. Um, and I do have, or I did have, somewhere. Some nice trim that I think I'm going to use. What I'm going to do is uh, include a bottle. I'm going to use some of this as a border, I think. 
because I love this trim. So let's clear this first. And we'll start doing this. Don't do that, don't do that. There we go. <clears throat> I'm only going to put that on that side. And I've changed my mind. As I do, as I can. So, now... Just a minute, because isn't it the pie on paper's got something to do with uh, sewing? And I do have the pie on paper, so... Hi everyone. Right, I just want to show you this uh, finished little project that I've done. Um, you saw how I made the background. Um, I've now added the rulers that I made yesterday using some little buttons. Uh, this is a little pack of needles. Of course there's none in it, it's just uh, from the pie on papers. You cut it, fold it and um, it's like a little packet of needles. Some little threads on spools. One of the new bling. Um, and I found this that I added to it, which is just uh, like a sewing machine. Added some more buttons, got the trim here. Have put the trim on the edge, all the way around. And hung some little beads um, from the ruler. Um, it's just a little project because it's a gift uh, to go in somebody's parcel. Um, so I hope you like that. Had it added the frame. This is off from the pie on paper as well. Use a Copic marker on the frame. And um, yeah. Like I say, it's just a little gift uh, that will go in one of the parcels. I'm trying to get a, a gift made for every parcel that I send out. So I hope you like that, and I uh, hope you like the technique of how this was done with the crackling. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye for now.